it is done. I've finished building this application, finally. It's taken about uh, two months worth of hard work and lots of sweat and toil to put this thing together. Uh, I have created something that I think is probably the first of its kind in the whole entire world. I'm not really sure if anybody else has done this before, but uh, basically what I did is I, I took uh, the Leap Motion device, which tracks your hand movements, and I combined that with uh, 360 degree videos and gaming to create a whole new type of hybrid experience. So for those of you who don't know what Leap Motion is, it's a, a very small uh, IR camera that s sits on your desk and it faces upwards and it can track uh, your hand movements like so. So these are my actual hands and none of this is pre-recorded, it's all being animated in real time. and. I can do stuff like reach out and grab stuff and play with stuff inside of this virtual environment. So uh, this experience starts by asking the user to reach out and grab the seed and plant it into the ground. So the very moment you reach out and you grab the seed, the ground illuminates and then you're asked to plant it. So I just release the seed and magically a tree appears and you realize you're in a nice forest. And it's a nice sunny day, birds chirping, music begins. At Dell, we're working to create a legacy of driving human progress. So Living now you can use your hands to rotate your view. Than we found you don't it. have to stay it's a looking in one direction. So you can just do this. Using ocean-bound plastics you and packaging. Up and down as well. And you can use both hands for this if you want. Program. Or you could have your hands plastic and gold from old crawl over each other like so, to do a full 360 experience. Sustainability goals. And we don't create it alone. We work with our supply chain partners to improve their environmental impact, to combat forced labor and protect and human each of rights. these uh, slides are driven behavior. programmatically. There's no actual video going on, so I can do anything Helping with these of kids get better dynamically to in real time if I wanted to. So this over helps uh, save on hours space and every year. drive better performance. Advancing life-saving technologies. We do this to make the world a better place. That's how we're building a legacy of good. Will you join us? To learn more, look around and select from one of the three initiatives. So. We designed this so that initially you're just looking at this tree and in order to continue you actually have to turn the screen to look around and this makes sure that before somebody activates a 360 video that they actually know how to turn around and look inside of the video. So it's kind of like this uh, secret teaching tool where you can guarantee that somebody has uh, a prerequisite training before they activate some uh, additional experience. Um, that slide sequence that you saw earlier, we initially tried doing that with a a video that had, uh, I think it was ma magenta as a mask, and we tried producing it and placing it into this environment, but it just didn't really work out very well. I was trying to chroma key that mask out and every single slide had uh, pink borders around it and it just didn't look very good. Alternatively, tr we tried uh, creating a movie file that had uh, alpha transparency channels. So the first uh, 24 bits would be the RGB values and then the last eight bits would be the alpha. But the problem is that when you export that video, it can't be an mp4, it has to be like an MOV or something that supports uh, transparency and those video files get to be very large because they can't be compressed. The mp4 files can be a, a JPEG style lossy formats whereas uh, uh, I think the MOVs are sort of like PNGs and they're stacked on top of each other so the file size just gets ridiculously large and the performance just wasn't where I wanted it to be so I created that slideshow that you just saw uh, programmatically rather than having a video run. Anyway, 
enough blathering. Let's take a look at this uh, Ocean Plastics experience. It's pretty cool. So to activate one of these uh, scenarios, all you do is you just reach out and grab it and ta-da! Each year, 8 million metric tons of plastic enter the ocean. Enough to put five grocery bags full of plastic trash on every foot of every coastline around the world. These plastics break down and make their way up the food chain and into your stomach. Pretty gross. Anyway, this this was a scene that was taken on, uh, I, I believe, the Washington coast. This is, I, I think, I want to say it's a Puget Sound. Uh, to activate this experience and pick up trash, all you do is reach out with your hand and you grab one of these pieces of trash. And then you just bring it closer towards you and then release. And you picked up that piece of trash. Now we have to just look around the scene and find other pieces of trash to pick up. And we're helping clean the beaches. So we'll grab this piece of trash. Let's see, what is it? Uh, chocolate candies. Let's pick that up. Dell wants to help break this cycle by keeping plastics in the economy and out of the ocean. To those ends, we are building the first commercial scale ocean plastic supply chain. We are processing ocean bound plastics collected from beaches, waterways, and coastal areas and using them to make packaging. And we made a pledge to the United Nations to use 80 tons annually by 2025. The trays are made from 25% ocean plastics and the remainder from recycled plastics from other sources. We also brought like-minded manufacturers and non-profits together to create Next Wave, a coalition whose members are committed to using ocean plastics in their manufacturing and packaging like Dell. So now here's three different uh, hotspot experiences that you can activate and uh, see how Dell is helping clean up the oceans. So let's pick uh, a couple of these. The opportunities to help the environment are all around us. Dell's Planet Employee Resource Group connect team members who share this belief and are committed to taking action in their communities. For example, led by members of the Planet Employee Resource Group, team members around the company participate in litter cleanup events on and around Earth Day. Often, in support of our work to keep plastics out of the oceans and in the economy, they get their hands dirty cleaning up beaches, shorelines, rivers and other areas. From volunteer events and community projects to networking and learning opportunities, the employee resource groups at Dell provide an outlet for team members' passions. Now, since we already watched this one, it doesn't show up again, so we only have two more options to choose from. So we'll watch this one. At Dell, we look for ways to close the loops in our supply chain, recycling and reusing materials in our products. When you recycle products with Dell, our environmental partners determine if products or components can be reused. Everything else is sorted and responsibly recycled. Today, we take the recycled plastic and recycled gold, melt them down, and use them again for new components. Meanwhile, our award-winning designs implement considerations for recyclability and disassembly in order to make closed-loop recycling easier for everyone. Finally, the products are assembled and shipped for purchase and use until they get recycled again. Driving innovative circular approaches like this is just one example of how Dell is leading the IT industry's transition to a more sustainable approach. So this kind of feels like it's a, a pretty immersive experience because you can look all around yourself and kind of like see the beach that you're on and you're getting like these uh, uh, PSAs about cleaning the beach and you're also kind of like being an interactive participant in this uh, effort. So it's, it's a pretty compelling experience. So let's go and take a look at this last one. There's over 8 million tons of plastic a year going into the ocean. The UN and others have estimated that by the year 2050, we will have more plastic in the ocean than fish by volume. By collaborating with other like-minded companies, I think we can make a significant difference to this problem. These companies are leading industries to show them 
this is the new way to make products. We can redesign things and reuse materials that are out there in the environment to limit our impact going forward and protect the place that we really love. Dell is committed to creating a legacy of good to benefit our customers and our community. Thank you for learning more about some of our initiatives. And now we'll return to uh, this tree that we planted and it has actually grown a little bit. So every time you uh, watch one of these different initiatives, uh, this tree grows bigger and bigger until you have this uh, towering pillar of uh, life. And I think that kind of helps kind of create this really cool theme of uh, environmentalism and doing good and uh, doing innovative stuff in the world. So here's another cool theme that we had. This is uh, a TGen, uh, Genomic Research. It's kind of hard to read this because it's uh, white on white, but uh, we'll just reach in here and activate this experience. So here, we're in kind of like this genomic research place where uh, they, they do DNA sequencing to figure out new treatments for drugs and stuff. So to help them along, uh, what you do is you reach out here and grab one of these DNA strands. And what we're going to do is uh, combine that with uh, another one here. Now I made a bigger strand of DNA. And then I need one more. Let's see if I can find that. Ah, here we go. I have it in my left hand. We'll rotate the screen till we get to the right, and then we'll combine that together. Ta-da! Now with Dell's technology and the dedicated, impassioned researchers and doctors at TGen, we're pushing the boundaries of precision medicine, making it faster and more affordable for families in need. Using Dell's most advanced technology and with our financial support, human genome sequencing can now be done at the point of diagnosis, not as a last resort, and in a fraction of the time it used to take. We're also working with TGen to bring the benefits of precision medicine to treatment of other types of cancer and rare childhood diseases. So we'll take a look at this. TGen is a nonprofit research institute, and we focus on understanding the human genome and translating that information into advances in human health. We have very complex problems that we're trying to answer. There's a lot at stake for our patients where days matter. When we complete a patient's genome sequence, we're looking at about 90 billion data points, and that really requires a lot of deep compute resources to get to that knowledge. We need to use the high-performance computing to really understand that data. And hopefully, by uncovering those clues, we can learn more about how to treat or prevent disease. We're going from two weeks to process a genome down to roughly seven, eight hours on our new system. We've been using uh, Dell Intel systems in our research labs to start crunching through genomic data in a big data methodology. In order to process data at the petascale, you need a platform like Hadoop to enable you to be able to actually process that data. That's actually pretty cool. Anyway, I'm not going to go through every single one of these experiences and every single one of these videos. We'd be here all day long, but uh, the idea is that everything is interactive and instead of being a passive viewer uh, watching a video that is kind of boring, now you're kind of like this uh, interactive participant with agency and you can decide what you want to see first and you can actually be uh, a partaker in kind of like this uh, themed, I guess, message that people are trying to get across. And it makes it a lot more fun. I really enjoy this, and I'm kind of surprised at how well this worked out. Um, let's see, any closing notes?
Mm, not that I can think of. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.